Ladies and gentlemen, it is December the 30th, also known as the Eve of New Year's Eve, or something. And there'll be deals on Steam. There'll actually be some pretty good deals all round today. Um, I have to say that it's not the best Steam day ever, but there are some pretty nice deals on here, on Green Man and a couple of other websites. And naturally, one that shall do our best to go through them all. And we're going to be starting things out in no real order, complete and utter random order, with The Witcher 2. Which is the enhanced edition, naturally, the Assassin of Kings. 224 is what you'll be paying. Or, if you're paying in United States dollars, 299 So us Brits and Americans get pretty nice deals, actually. Now, there is also the Trilogy Pack, which obviously includes uh, Witcher 3. But for those of you who may be thinking, hey, I wonder how much I'm going to get for that. It turns out you're going to be still paying this full price. But there is also the enhanced edition of Director's Cut, which is currently going for the original Witcher, which is 149 that's US dollars. Um, and also Humble Bundle are doing a slight discount of uh, Witcher 3 if you wish to pre-purchase. Just for your FYIs. There's not much to say about the Witcher 3. Other than it's a pretty good game. The Witcher Enhanced Edition, in case you're wondering, basically fixes a lot of the primary problems with the original version of the game. Um, and so obviously you'll get not only additional content, but it's much more forgiving, as particularly at the start. The introduction of Witcher 2 was actually fairly rage-inducing, particularly pre-patch. And not only did it pretty much throw you into the deep end, but it also substantially changed some elements from the original Witcher. Plus, it was actually ridiculously difficult. Um, for the average gamer, you died a lot. And it's not really a good way to introduce you to a game. It's like, fair enough if you're going to introduce tough mechanics. But I felt it was far too punishing. Fortunately, the enhanced edition or director's cuts or whatever you wish to call these. Of both the original and Witcher 2 have fixed many of these issues. Combat to me, is probably a little clunky still. Maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe it's just me, but I found the combat a little bit clunky. But what you do have is a ridiculously in-depth story RPG. It can seem a little bit cliche in some areas in terms of the basic story and narration, but overall, I think it's extremely solid. My advice to you, however, should you buy it? Well... If you're interested in a hardcore RPG experience, then The Witcher is going to be for you. If you liked the Dark Souls series, this, gonna, this game is going to be for you. If you're a fan of, say, Skyrim, then you're probably going to like this because it does have some open world elements. If, on the other hand, you want an RPG that's going to be fairly easy to get into, it's going to kind of hold your hand some. Probably not, but I really love the world that The Witcher has created, and I, for one, look forward to the next instalment, which, of course, is Witcher 3. Anyway, um, I waxed lyrically about that one for a while. Now we have Final Fantasy 7. There are actually a plethora of different Final Fantasies on offer, including even up to 13 uh, 2, but the discounts on those are not quite so steep. Anyway, let's discuss Final Fantasy 7 first. It's going to cost you £5 or $6. Um, the PC port's not bad. It isn't what everyone really wants, a remake, and pretty much PlayStation 4 owners are going to be getting the same thing. If you are considering waiting for the PS4 version instead of getting the PC, don't. Just buy the PC version. Two reasons. One, it's exactly the same sodding game. And the second reason is that it's going to be considerably cheaper. Even the full price game is actually going to be cheaper than the PS4 version, let alone this discount that they're currently offering. Now, there's not much to say about Final Fantasy. I'm sure everyone has pl probably played it or knows about it. There is Final Fantasy VIII and a few others as well. Go ahead and pick it up, is my personal advice. If you've not played it, it's pretty much a classic. Maybe if you've got a, you know, horrible phobia with uh, turn-based battles, you might have some problems. And obviously the graphics have aged some. Aside from that, no real particular issues. Next game in our little um, 
Blast to Fun. Armor free, 18 great British pounds, or if you're paying in dollars, it's going to cost you 29.99. So us Brits get a good deal, or Americans not so much of a good deal. And there is tons of different versions of this, including DLC. Oddly enough, the DLC, as well as the digital deluxe upgrade, despite the fact that the deluxe edition is on discount, the digital deluxe upgrade is not on discount. So I don't quite know what's going on there. Um, and also, a lot of the DLC, in fact, all of the DLC is not on discount either. So I'm not quite sure what the hell is going on. This one is basically a real-time military sandbox. That's the best way of describing this. It is a... I guess the best way of describing this would be Battlefield, but on steroids. In other words, every element is considerably more authentic. It's more diverse, huge open world environments. Are you going to like it? Well, you're either going to get ridiculously sucked in, or you're going to find it far too much. So my personal opinion is, look, if you are a fan of run-and-gun gameplay, if you like fast-paced, natured games, this game is not going to be for you. You're going to get basically frustrated like hell. If, on the other hand, you like a more authentic experience, or you've ever particularly felt like you know you should be part of the army, I'm um, not using that as a, an insult, I'm just literally being serious. Like, if that if military tactics and so on um, are kind of your thing, or you want a more realistic kind of immersion, it think of it almost like Battlefield, but with simulation elements. And the reason I put it like that is it's literally the best way to describe it because I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with Battlefield. I would recommend checking out some videos because you are either going to love this game or you're not going to like it really much at all. And that, it's pretty much that simple. Next title would be The Forest. This is going to cost you 10 bucks. Well, actually, 10 bucks, 4 cents. The 4 cents is extremely vital to their earnings, don't you know? Or it's going to cost you 7.36. Once again, the 36 pennies are extremely important. This is a basically survival horror. It's a sub lone survival game. You've noticed that there is a prevalent, there seems to be a prevalence of them recently. This is early access, so. Ideally, you are going to be helping sculpt it. It's first-person survival horror at its best. And from what I'm told from others who have played it as well, there's no real issues in regards to major bugs. There have been some problems with save and load issues, but primarily, despite the fact that there are a couple of crops saved, most of that has been fixed. So that's a good thing. Um, from what... Pretty much everyone has ever played. I, I think this is kind of cool. This is... How can I put it? This is a pretty excellent title. Um, I would highly recommend it if you are a fan of the genre. And it pretty much follows the normal... What's the, What can I say? Formula of survival. In other words, you are surviving a plane crash. So you basically jump out all heroically. And then obviously you have to survive being in this forest... So, obviously, the primary things such as shelter and fire and, you know, food and so f so forth are important. But you will get attacked. You know, you will get attacked a lot. This is not just you versus wild animals and so on. This is you versus pretty much bad people and everything else in between. So, you know, you might want to give it a shot. I think it's kind of cool. Next game um, in our little torrent of enjoyment would be... Metal Slug 3. So Metal Slug 3 is going to cost you a rather princely sum of 239. That would be dollars. I, I like to alternate between dollars and pounds first, for, um, if you've ever noticed. But uh, one foot, 179 is going to be the UK price for this, or British price, or whatever. The great thing is that you can also have online co-op with this one. So what is the best way of describing what would be the tagline for this. The tagline for Metal Slug 3 would be old school shoot 'em up. Um, old school 2D action shoot 'em up. So if you like those games, this this title is for you. Metal Slug in terms of the series has been probably one of the more loved 
shooters in the franchise. Obviously, this is not high resolution, you know, self shading graphics, but it's a cool title and probably worth playing. Whether you're going to like it if you're more into modern titles, who the hell knows? L Lich them, Battle Mage, is next. It is going to cost you a rather reasonable 75% off, actually. It's going to cost you 10 US dollars. Or if you're paying with um, pounds, it's going to cost you 749. The idea here is that you are a, well, you're, you're going to be shocked about this one. You're a mage. And um, you're basically playing the game in first person. And it allows you to have a fairly robust, fairly robust spell crafting system. That's not to say that all of the spells are astounding. There are some problems with the refinement of them. And in addition to the spell refinement, some of them kind of don't tell you what they're going to be doing so much. So you can craft spells or effects and they're kind of crap. But it, the game does look beautiful. If memory serves, it's using CryEngine. And you can definitely tell. Um, Stormline and so on aren't bad. It's a single player focused title. Are you going to like it? Well, if you are a spell wielding maniac, yes. If you like beautiful environments and so on, yes. It doesn't do anything particularly super original, but the crafting system is fairly decent. But it's probably going to be for those of you who are more willing to put experimentation down. Um, some people love it, some people, well, not so much love it. So, up to you. Child of Light. This one's going to cost you four seventy nine. That would be the pound price, or five fifteen, or five ninety nine, if you're paying in um, dollars. There is a demo of this available, so I'm going to keep this fairly short and sweet because obviously if there's a demo, so you'd be much better to kind of play that. It's basically a RPG, and it has that typical. Rather beautiful style for all intents and purposes. It's pretty awesome. If memory serves, Amata has played on the channel. I haven't. She was the one who covered this one. She tells me it's absolutely brilliant. Go ahead and try it out either on the demo or look at a video. I don't really have anything else to say about that one. Pretty simplistic, I would admit. Wasteland. So there's another one that's been pretty much in the limelight recently. So Wasteland 2. There is a fairly reasonable percentage off. It's 50% off $19.99 or if you're paying a pound, you're going to get to pay a fairly okay price, I guess £15. This one is a fairly impressive title. Um, if memory serves, Amata has once again covered this one on the channel. I haven't. She tells me that it's pretty excellent and the basic premise is it is a RPG that has some problems in terms of rather old and archaic user interface issues um, and that can be a problem particularly later on. The game really like most RPGs is pretty much whatever you put into it. I personally would probably get, get, look at a couple of videos because it's a post-apocalyptic turn-based kind of strategy RPG thing. You might love it or you might hate it. Amata loves it. I can't really say but I do know one person who really didn't like it at all. So, yeah, kind of just how games go, I guess. Um, Lethal League, if I pronounced that correctly, yes I did, is the last one. I don't know too much about this game, in fact I know very little about this game. It is going to cost you 7 US dollars or it's going to cost you £5. Don't know too much about it. From what I'm looking at, it's basically a competitive kind of sports gravity game. Um... It seems to review really quite well. You might want to look at a couple of videos on it. I don't know too much about it personally, but you know, I don't want to bully. I don't want to bull crap you. As far as I can tell, looking at a couple of videos myself, it's basically kind of like a competitive volleyball almost. But the player that you know, the players that lose, it doesn't go too well for them. You might want to give it a shot. You might. Um, I think that's all of them for today on the main deal. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yes. I do want to go through the 12 hourly deal ones and also will blast through some other websites because that's how I roll. Um, where are we? What are we in terms of the deals? Okay. I know a couple of these games. Pixel Piracy, I've heard okay things about. Don't know too much about it personally, but 
There's a couple of people I know who have played it that quite liked it. I haven't personally tried it. I believe it was James on the channel who was telling me about this one. If memory serves, he was uh, he was kind of saying it was pretty awesome on his Facebook. If memory serves. Dragon Age um, Ultimate Edition. Very good price. For the amount of content... Because this is like all of the DLC, and the Awakening content itself is really quite lengthy. This is not like a one-hour gameplay campaign. Oh, no, 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 no. This is an actual, you know, basically the Awakening content itself is longer than a lot of RPGs are fully. So that's just giving you an idea of how much content. Would I recommend it? Well, there are some... If you're a fan of Dragon Age Inquisition, but that must be how it plays... You might have a bit of a shock because you can't even jump in Dragon Age Origin. But I think in some ways it's actually it gives you a little bit more choice maybe on Origins. Just in terms of the overall gameplay. I quite like the game. I would highly recommend you play it at least at one point or another. Overlord is also available 174. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, Overlord 2, 174. These are pound prices. Not a bad game. Uh, it's almost like an... How can I put it? It's almost a bit like Dungeon Keeper if you were directly controlling the main bad guy. That's one way to put it. It's not perfect. It has a couple of issues here and there. But for the price, you might want to give it a shot. I believe the tagline is evil hasn't been so much fun. Another title that I would highly suggest you pick up. This is going to be available, of course, for 40, uh, 24 hours. But this one's going to cost you four great British pounds. And I honestly cannot recommend this title enough. And that would be Spec Ops The Line. It's a couple of years old now. Almost two and a half. But it is beautiful. Um, it looks incredible. And this is a military game. And so you might think of it like Gears of War. And you know really macho man running in. But this does show you the horrors of war. And um, I think the this title is actually one of my favorite games of 2012 i would highly suggest you play it i really would it's incredible and i really hope at some point that we'll see a sequel i really do i i don't think we will but i'd really love to see a sequel to this one well now we're going to be blasting through green man gaming um because there's a couple of good deals going on as you would expect for you know considering i'm putting it in here Obviously, most of the sale stuff is still going on, so you've got Doom and Quake and Wolfenstein and stuff like that. The Probably the best under the Buried Booty, which is um, kind of, or should I say, under the Holiday Sale tab of Green Man Gaming. I'm only going to give you the pound prices because I can't access US prices. Sorry about that. But the Buried Booty site, um, the best deal, is probably dead uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising. Um... 12 49 and 20% off of that. I'm not going to give you the 20% off of all of them. You can just calculate that yourself. Not bad, in my personal opinion. Pretty good. Not amazing, but not bad. Under Hidden Hall, you've got The Cave. Pretty solid title. Hell yeah. I've been through all of these games a couple of times over. So I'm going to let you check those out. Uh, it'll be my first Green Man video, or the first video with Green Man on the title. The killers for today, in my personal opinion anyway, would be Wolf Among Us, uh, these are uh, the 24 hour deals. So you've got the Wolf Among Us, which is currently going for 66% off, that's 645. Once again, the 20% off code works in all of these games. That's a pretty good price for the Wolf Among Us, that, that really isn't bad at all. You've also got Thief. Now, 574 is a little more expensive than what it was going for the other day. But this is the Master Edition, and basically that will come with some shiners. So that comes with some uh, digital art book, and I believe you've also got some extra DLC crap and digital soundtrack and that type of thing. You could just pick up the regular Thief, if memory serves, uh, which is four ninety nine plus the twenty percent off. That means you're going to get the game for quite cheap, so it could well be worth it, right? You've got War Lord of the Rings. War of the North, um, which I've heard is okay. I haven't really tried it myself. I played it briefly, um, but I didn't really get too far. I've heard it's okay. Um, but that's 374. 
I'm about to say 375. But perhaps the best deal for today is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, which is £20. This basically means you can get the game for like 16 bucks, which isn't bad. I think that's pretty good. Um, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check the 48 app our deal ones because I was a chimp and forgot. Okay, there's tons of manga -y kind of anime games as well as uh, Human Tanks which I did cover on the channel a while ago. It's a very hot game. That's the best way I can put it. Um, not bad prices on any of them. Nothing astounding, my personal opinion, but yeah. So, Green Man, The Wolf Among Us, Thief, and Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor are doing really good deals. If memory serves, at least in the UK, that is actually cheaper than what uh, Amazon were doing it. Because Amazon are doing, yes, Amazon are doing it for like 22 bucks. If memory serves, it says as he types furiously, you can still get a digital version of Far Cry 4 for like 24 pounds on Amazon. That would be Great British Pound prices. The US prices are being really odd at the moment. Um, and it's also worthy of note that the crew is also incredibly odd in terms of pricing. So I'm just going to go through this. I did do it the other day. But I just want to go through it for the sake of, you know, I, I haven't um, been for it for a while. But if you were to go to the crew... Um, that was an absolute fail. Uh, if you were to go to the crew in the United States, uh, Amazon, it's going to cost you 60 Great British Pounds. Uh, sorry, that would be really freaking impressive, wouldn't it? It would going to cost you 60 US dollars, um, which, yeah, uh, and the download is the same. So a physical copy and the download is exactly the same. Us Brits get a really good deal here if you're interested in the crew, which, um, yeah. That's going to cost you like £22. So basically what I'm saying is that us Brits get an incredibly good deal on the crew on Amazon. Oddly enough, this naturally or unnaturally or painfully extends to Far Cry 4 as well and some other Ubisoft games. I'm not going to go into all of them. Because you can even get titles like, he says as he types it in, Black Flag PC. And what you're going to find is Black Flag PC is like £9 uh, download. But Black Flag on the US store um, is going to cost you the same price. It's going to cost you quite expensive. It's like 24 US dollars. But the physical version is like 17 US dollars. So what I'm basically saying to you is the pricing for a lot of Ubisoft games is really fucked. <laughs> On sorry for language, but I can't say it any other way. It's just pretty screwed. On the Amazon store. So you can actually pick up Assassin's Creed Unity for the PC. Now it's patched, it could well be worth it. You can actually get the DVD version of the sucker for £22. And you can pick up the download, don't ask why, for 24. I don't know what's going on with that. And, of course, one, if we were to search for that on US. Yep, Americans get boned, or don't get the deal, whatever way you want to look at it. But you can get a physical version of it, actually, for 39.99, Which isn't, it's not bad, I suppose. Uh, I just want to check something for you. Yes, Dragon Age Inquisition, they've got for thirty three forty nine on the UK store. So, that's not too shabby. I have seen it slightly cheaper than that, but Americans are paying the regular price. And in fact, it's really odd because they're paying like $60 for the, the digital version of the game. But you're paying uh, 56 47 if you've got the physical. I, I, I don't know what's going on with that one. You're probably best to look around. I have heard that GameStop are doing some deals as well. Um, so you could definitely check those out. And they've also got GameStop in the UK. So you've got some pretty good deals actually. Uh, not astounding deals. But if you're a console owner, you might want to check it out. 
In fact, the really odd thing is the game in the United Kingdom is actually doing the Master Chief Collection, which is completely off topic of PC stuff, for like £30 at the moment. So it, you can get some good deals if you look around. But, um, for example, you can even pick up a PS4, a white PS4, for like £399 from GameStop UK at the moment, which isn't too shabby. And Connect and so on is pretty nice. So you can maybe check that out. I'm going to quickly check Origin for you. And then I'm going to check one other website um, just to see if there's anything astounding. I did check these earlier a couple of hours ago, but I just want to make sure that nothing else is updated. I don't think it has, but I just want to make certain of that. I mean, to be honest with you, to be totally blunt and brutally honest, um, the deals on Origin are basically exactly the same as they always have been. You've got some deals on Origin... Um, on you play, I'm sorry, but I find it really hard to. Uh, you know, what, some okayish deals. I've got some okayish deals. You might want to look at you play, but there's two reasons I don't suggest it. One, the deals are not exactly what I'd consider amazing. Second problem with you play deals is it's using well, you play and you play. Uplay makes me sad inside. I'll be honest. That's that's one problem with Uplay. It just it 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 just inherently saddens me every time I use it. It really really does. So yeah, not bad deals, my personal opinion anyway. Um, obviously yesterday's deals are finishing soon. Uh, oh, I just want to quickly go through a few of the deals with ending soon. These are gonna end in I don't know. 11 hours. These are from like the 24, these are like the 24 hour ones, the ones that update every 12 hours. They have Tales from the Borderlands for 14.24, not a bad price at all. Alice Madness Returns, really good. I believe you get two games at the price of one. Pretty, pretty fucked up actually, that title. You could give it a shot. I quite liked it. Rios, where you basically you play as like a god and you're sculpting the world around you, not bad for one for 39. Mafia 2, I personally didn't really like it, but some people I know loved it. That's going to cost you a five, uh, five US, five great British pounds, I'm sorry. And just having a look, 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 look. That would be it. I've bored you enough. I think, unless Humble Bundle are doing a sale again, I, I did check this like yesterday, but they're not really doing anything. No, they're not. And that's kind of sad, to be honest. But yeah, so that's that. That I think is pretty much it for this video. They have got some humble bundle weekly sales at the moment, um, but they're they're okay, to be totally honest. Not astounding. So you might want to give it a look. You might. You might. You might. You might not. But you might. And that's about it. I think that's about it for this video. Before I, you know, explode your brains. Explode them. Anyway, take care. Bye for now.